Hi, Nat. Hello. <laughs> so we have a big surprise for you guys today. I, Magic X Maid, am interviewing Nat Nagel, as in bagel. <laughs> And since she always interviews the spotlight gurus, I said, well, somebody should interview you one time. And we thought that since she's got a thousand subscribers, that would be a good time. Wow, I'm still in shock. I don't feel like being on the other side of the interview. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be fine. You've got such a great personality. You'll be fine. Yes, sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. On your Thank subscribers, you. that is crazy. That's so crazy. How do you feel? I'm still shocked, honestly, because I started just you know playing around, and I didn't think people were really interested in me. There's so many people out there that have channels, and um, people just started coming in and in and in, and more and more. And everybody's all my subscribers are so nice, and that's what kills me. It's So what made you decide to start making videos? Funny story. I went to Target um, because I was getting something random, and I felt so um, flamboyant with the gold and purple. Yep. And I thought, that's freaking gorgeous. I want it. And I thought about it, and I was like, hold how am I going to wear this? I have no clue. Um, and so I said, you know what? I bet you anything. I could look on YouTube and see people. I was thinking like, you know, professionals, not just everyday people like me, you know. I was thinking like actual cosmetic companies putting videos out. And then I saw um, this girl, honestly, I don't even know her name. It was just a random video. To this. And she had done this exact, like, crazy purple look that I thought was just awesome. I thought it was just Taking it and her eyebrows purple and everything. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I started searching, and I saw other people. I was like, I'm so sucked into this world now. Uh-huh. Yeah. And they said, you know, I, I can do that. Mm -hmm. um, I started making them myself, and they were obviously the quality wasn't as good. And, you know, I only... One of my questions is, what was the last piece of makeup that you purchased? Oh, last thing I bought would be um, my hip duo that I got at Kmart. Oh, the metallic one. The metallic one, yeah. Do you like it? I have not actually worn it yet. <laughs> it's really sad. I've gotten all these different things and I, I have to make myself stop. I know. Okay, and what is the, your favorite piece of makeup that you own? Ooh. <laughs> that is such a hard question. I, no, I don't know if you'll be able to answer that. Um, my absolute favorite thing that I love beyond all other makeup mm -hmm. would have to be my hip cream liner. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You love that stuff. Out of everything, I love that stuff. And, and the spell liner is a close second. Oh, okay. Because I like it just as, much, as well. The best thing about making videos the best thing? Yep. Um, honestly, that would have to be the reactions I get from people. Yeah. Complete strangers don't know who I am from Adam, and they're like, oh my God, that's gorgeous, or what were you thinking? Your eyeliner looks like. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Just the, you know, the raw act reaction you get, I love it, because people don't need to sugarcoat it, because, you know, half of you, I don't know, and I'm trying to get to know you. I don't know you, you know? Yeah. The thing you wished people would understand about making videos. What I wish people would understand? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. That, okay, that, um, I wish people would understand that, you know, I'm not a professional. I don't get paid to do this. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm doing this in my quote-unquote spare time. Right. And I don't have any spare time right now, so, like, any videos I make, I'm either making them... Um, at 6.15 in the morning or I'm making them at like 11.30 at night. Mm -hmm. And 
I have so many requests that I just can't, like right now I can't get to them. Good. I'm trying really, really, really hard to get to them. Mm -hmm. and a lot of them are looks. Mm -hmm. and yeah. It's really hard to do all that and then to, you know, just deal with the fact that I'm moving and I'm starting a new job and mm -hmm. dealing with life. <laughs> and you have two kids and a husband yeah. and, yep. So the big thing I think is um, I get a lot of criticism about, um, like, my retro, my pinup looks and stuff. I still get criticized on those. And, you know, I'm doing this for fun. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you're going to rain on my parade, screw you. Go away. I don't need you as a subscriber. <laughs> That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to have fun. Exactly. That's what it's all about. That's exactly what it's about. Um, how did you get into teaching? Um, I decided to become a teacher because I graduated with my bachelor's in biology and um, I actually go to school to become a genetic counselor mm -hmm. where I would help people that were pregnant figure out if their babies were going to have any disabilities or anything like that. But um, I needed a job right away because Elijah was just a couple months old and my mom is a teacher and she was like you should apply with the city everybody gets hired in the city mm -hmm. and I got hired and I just kind of got sucked into it and went to school to get my master's degree and now that I have my master's degree it's like well crap I paid for it I have to stay in the teaching profession <laughs> mm -hmm. I have to miss my waste <laughs> yeah Yep. Speaking of your mom, do you have any brothers and sisters? I hear you talk about your I mom. I am an only child. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wondered yeah. about that. No siblings. Um, I have a brother-in-law. My, my husband has a brother, but mm -hmm. no brothers and sisters. Oh, okay. Now, how did you how did you and Nick meet? Uh, we met, actually, in high school. Oh, um, wow. We met our senior year because I went to what was called governor school, and I had to classes at a local university with kids from another uh, couple other um, high schools in the area and his friends went to a different school than me because he went to a different school and we were introduced to each other at an AC which is a um, kind of like battle of the brains all the geeky kids get uh -huh. up there and they answer questions fast it's like Jeopardy for kids yeah yeah and his friends introduced us and we were like oh great we're going to the same college that's fabulous maybe I'll see you around Mm -hmm. And then we just never saw each other again. And then we actually met our freshman year at VCU. Oh, wow. And, yeah. And we started we started dating, and our first date lasted a week. <laughs> we were always together. It didn't matter. So. <laughs> that sounds familiar. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Oh. We got 10 years. That, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I love it. See, what's your favorite song and what kind of music do you like? Which I already I have. I listen to probably absolutely everything. Mm -hmm. um, I love classical music. I love opera. I love really? Rock. I love oldies. Um, I'll try this. I'll try this is probably my biggest, like, um, grouping of music, I guess. Mm -hmm. I like a lot of pop, too. Um, this is really cheesy, but my favorite song is Unchained Melodies. Really? Oh, that's yeah. sweet. That's sweet. Yeah, no, the, uh, that's a good I song. A song from like what the sixties? Yes. Righteous Brothers. Yep, the Righteous Brothers. Um, where would a dream vacation for you be? Where would you like to go if you had a, a choice to go anywhere? If I go anywhere, mm -hmm. I want to go to Australia. Oh, cool. Yeah. I want to go to Australia. I think it's gorgeous there. I just, I've always wanted to go. I actually wanted to go to college from at the University of Sydney, I think is what it is. Really? Yes. And I found out that it's like getting into Princeton or Harvard oh, or American. Wow. And yeah. I mean, I'm somewhat smart, but I was such a slacker in high school that I didn't do perfect on SATs and all that stuff. So yeah. I didn't try. Yeah. But, um, I would love to go there. I would also love to go to Ireland. Mm-hmm. So, mm -hmm. my goal is to get out of the country. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. I would love that, too. If you weren't a teacher, which you are, obviously, but uh, if you weren't a teacher, would you get something else pierced? Oh, yes. And what? Most definitely. I'm trying, I'm really, really contemplating doing something anyway, but mm -hmm. um, I want to get my, um, the narrow one. Yeah. The um, piercing, everything inside your lip. Yep. I think that's hot. 
<laughs> that would look really cute on you, actually. 